Next to Face the Dragons is Leicester-based optical designer, Tony Messu, who believes his invention could be a huge money spinner. Well, I think it's a great product because it works and it's patented, and so I've got a lot of protection. It could be a, a global winner if it's um, handled the right way. What are they? Mm, some fancy eyewear. Cycling glasses. What are the tennis balls on there for? I came up with this idea while playing tennis and having problems hitting high shots in the sun, and I had an idea for something that was like a peephole that would allow you to see the ball even with sunlight. But will Tony's pitch be a clear winner in the den? Hello, Dragons. I'm Tony Messieu. I'm here to seek an investment of £40,000 in exchange for a 20% share in my patented anti-blinding eyewear sun clipper. Now, US Highways research shows that many accidents occur because in the sunlight the driver is temporarily blinded. So current technology doesn't work fully effectively. The car visors in your car are OK, but if you change direction when in the sunlight, you really should adjust them. And you don't want to be doing that. You want to be focusing on the road ahead. Sun Clipper is a low-tech solution to the sun blinding problem. It's basically a clip-on shade that blocks light entirely from unwanted directions, but allows a clear view of directions of interest, essentially. Lights! That sun clipper on, and that takes out all the blinding, and you take them off, and you're <laughs> uh, so that is sun clipper. So you're most welcome to try it if you want. An illuminating pitch from Tony Messieu, who's asking for forty thousand pounds in return for twenty percent of his anti-glare sunwear range. All right, so here goes lights. But in spite of the simplistic design, okay. yeah, it does block it there appears to be some confusion as to what Tony's product actually is. Well, which bit's a sun clipper? It's a bit with a logo on it. Mine's broken. Time for Peter Jones to clear things up. Tony, I've got my glasses on here that you've given me, yeah? Tony? Yes, yeah, yeah, sorry. I've, these are the glasses you've yes, given me. Yes, that's the frame. That's nothing to do with your product. That's nothing to do with the product, it's a platform. And your product is this, that clips over the top that's of the right. glasses, which covers a, a third of the glasses. Yes, that's right. And, and it, it blocks the sun because it's solid. Exactly. But it adjusts to your personal eye distance as well. And that's hence why you've got these adjustable yes. things for your pupils. Exactly. They're, they to adjust for your eye distance. Most of the time they're going to be in the middle, but they slide, they're fully adjustable. Does it work the same like if you put some tape across it? Mm. Yeah cut a couple of holes in for your pupils and it'd have the same effect. You could do, but, but you wouldn't have a pattern for that and I've, I've design registered that as well to stop people doing a simple version. So it's, it's quite well protected. There must be a better way though. I mean, have you looked, I mean, Deborah, I, I think you're lovely, but have you looked at <laughs> the, have you seen Deborah? What are you saying? With her glasses I on? think Deborah's saying? lovely as well. <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, they don't, thing. they don't look great. Peter Jones casts doubt over the aesthetic appeal of the product. And it seems that Sarah Davies also has some concerns over the practicalities of the peepholes. I would be worried driving in these because they're supposed to enhance my vision while I'm driving, yet I would say a good 40% of my vision is completely impaired. There is some vertical adjustment to allow you to lift that up. Basically, you squeeze the nose adjuster and that will push everything up to... So, so Tony, it. just to pick up what Sarah's saying, so I'm here, I was looking at Sarah and then I tried to look back at you, I can't see you. So with my face here, whereas, whereas normally I've got peripheral vision, I can't see you at all. You're not there. No. <laughs> Tony's not there. Tony, where are you? Well, I can see you very well, so... Well, I'll... you're looking straight at me, that's different, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, well... Yeah, but, not... so, but my peripheral vision, normally, I can see, so I can see Peter yeah. and I can see Tuca. And the minute I put this on, I mean, Tony, yeah. you're lovely, but you're the only thing in my world right now. No, They've gone but, completely. But... This makes it worse, surely. No, it doesn't. That is nothing to do with the sun clipper. That is due to the, the type of sunglasses, because any frame that's wrapped around like would block your vision. If you take that off, that is not covering much of the frame. And, and you see what you're forgetting, you've got a vertical adjustment on the nose bridge, which if you feel that it's blocking too much light, you, you can raise it. 
the entrepreneur successfully defends his product against a rigorous cross-examination from Deborah Meaden. Tuka Suleiman now wants to shift the focus to Tony's track record in eyewear. Just, just give us a bit of background, how you got here. Uh, I'm basically running an optical design company for tens of years. Right. I, I'm a one-man band, but I've worked for major companies throughout the world, including Oxford University, on lighting, virtual reality goggles, anything to do with optics and lighting, I, right. I've designed it. And something changed in my personal circumstances recently. I became a father for the first time. Congrats. Congratulations. When most people are dealing with roses in the garden, let's say. I won't give you any more details, but <laughs> he's three years old and I, I love him to bits. You're never too old. Mm. And uh, I want to make him proud, so this is part of making him proud of me for the, for the future. Strong credentials and a noble cause have put Tony in a positive light in the eyes of the dragons. Now, Tej Lalvani wants to find out if the product is better at blocking out the sun than the current solution for drivers. What does this do that a normal car visor doesn't do? Well, what it does is, because it's on your head, if you turn a corner and the direction of light changes, you don't have to do any adjustment. Whereas a sun visor, if you change direction, you'd have to be adjusting it, so it's much safer. But Tony, when you're driving a car, right, the sun's not always on your no. eyes, right? No. So the amount of time it takes to put the sun visor down, you've got to fumble, find your glasses from, from the side of the car while you're driving, try and put them on correctly without blinding yourself, and then two minutes later, try and take them off while you're driving. Well, you, you're making an assumption. I, I wear them all the time when I've... But you're wearing it throughout your journey. I don't want to be wearing this throughout my journey, even if it's not sunny. I'd rather just use the sun visor in terms of convenience, right? I think you're making too much of that point. There's lots of car accidents that are occurring right now and the sun visors have been around for a long time and they're not stopping it. Well, see, I think it may be a good product, but I can't see it. So, unfortunately, it's not something for me, so good luck, but I'm out. Tej Lalvani struggles to share Tony's vision for his invention and becomes the first dragon to bow out. Is this the end of the road? Or can Tuka Suleiman see a successful future on the horizon for the entrepreneur? I don't doubt that um, there's something there. But designers sometimes ha have got to work with some of the bigger brands that produce the end product. So my advice to you is use your IP, work with big brands to include your technology in their glasses. Let them do, do the marketing, let them do the production, because you've got the patent. Yep. And get royalties. So, don't despair, <laughs> but I'm not going to invest them out. OK. I think if your product does come out and it ends up saving a life, then it's done a great yeah, thing, hasn't it? Yeah, of course, yeah. Right? Whether this can turn into a business, I very much doubt. I'm not convinced that there is a huge opportunity to make money. So, for that reason, sadly, I'm out. I can only judge on what I see. And I, I put these on, and it, I felt really restricted. And, and maybe that was just me, but because of that, I won't be investing. Although I did rather like the idea of investing in somebody who dressed rather like a Bond character. <laughs> in a good way. Thank you. But I won't be, but so I'm out. Shame for me, but I accept that. The sky falls in on Tony as three more dragons drop out in quick succession. And it looks like Sarah Davies is heading in the same direction. I just can't see it being adopted on a mass level. There's a reason this doesn't exist in the market currently, and it's because there's just not a big enough need for it. As an investment, definitely not one for me today. So I won't be investing, and I'm out. You look nicer in real life than... <laughs> than I do in the glasses. <laughs> no, no, on television. Oh, than I do on television. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. Bye-bye. With the prospect of investment now firmly in his rear-view mirror, Tony walks away empty-handed, but he has managed to leave a lasting impression. That's the weirdest backhanded compliment, isn't it? You look great in real life. Yeah, I think he's basically saying, I look rubbish on the telly. Don't no. take it personally. Gotta see the world through rose-tinted glasses, Tej. 
The draggers didn't connect with my product and they kept comparing it to sunglasses, but they're not supposed to be sunglasses. Deborah didn't understand that peripheral vision was to do with the frames, which you'll, you'll get that on all frames. So she was completely wrong about that. Actually, I've just adjusted the middle bit, though, and I, I can see a little bit better than, than I was giving him credit for when he was in. Get him back in there, maybe you'll invest. 